Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the new and improved bucket fillers. Now why I've built a second version is because there were a couple of flaws in the original design. The main one being that you can only throw in one bucket at a time. You would kind of have to wait for it to fill up and then go into the chest and then then from there you can chuck in another one. However, this design improves that in that you can pretty much chuck in as many buckets of you as you want. It will automatically fill them all up. You can be like doing something else while that is actually happening. So this is the new improvement with it and I'm going to be showing you guys it right now. But that's enough talking, let's go around to the back of my house where I can actually show you this new design and how much better it actually is. And oh my god, we have a hole in the floor. So it pretty much looks the same, the only extra thing here we have is this button. But there is some internal works that are a little bit different to the original design as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to get out a bunch of buckets here. So let's get 16 out. Now, as I mentioned, you could only throw in one at a time. But this one, we all we have to do is pop all these in, press this button here, and it's going to automatically fill up all those buckets. So if you look in the chest here, you'll see that we're going to get a constant stream of buckets being filled into this chest. So this pretty much means that you guys can actually do whatever you want while that is actually filling up. You don't have to be waiting around there. And then you can come back, collect your water, so how many you ever need. So maybe you need to grab a couple of buckets here, and you're good to go. And then once you've finished with those, you can pop them back into there, refill them, or pop them all in, press that button, and it will refill all those buckets you put in there. How easy is that? And that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build today. Now, if you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any new uploads. But let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. So the materials that you are going to need is 8 redstone dust, 5 redstone torches, 6 redstone repeaters, 3 redstone comparators, 1 dispenser, 5 droppers, 4 hoppers, 1 sticky piston, 1 block of redstone, 1 button of your choice, I've just gotten a wooden one, 1 chest, 1 note block, 2 buckets of water, and finally, 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is place down our chest. This is just going to allow you to position this a whole lot easier. So if you're building this inside your base, um, placing the chest first is just going to allow you to put it pretty much wherever you want. So I'm going to be having my chest going here. Now before we actually place it down, we're going to dig down four blocks. So one, two, three, four. We're going to get our droppers and place them on a kind of a pile here all facing upwards so make sure you crouch and right click so you don't open up the inventory then on top of this top one here place your chest now we need to dig a four wide by seven long by four deep hole now where we actually start is what you want to do is stand in front of the chest here go three blocks back so one two three and then one to the left so dig out that block we're currently on and then we need to dig three blocks to the right. So one, two, three. Go six towards the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three to the left. And then go back to the start here. Dig out the center blocks. And then dig this down three more layers. And the last one here. And you'll know you've dug, or dug down the correct amount of layers because you should see all the four droppers here. Now leading into this bottom dropper here, we're going to have two hoppers. So again, make sure you crouch and then right click. So we're going to go one, two. On top of this last hopper here, we're going to have a dispenser facing inwards towards the droppers here. We're going to have a hopper going into the top of the dispenser. We're going to place a dropper. 
in between this hopper here and this dropper facing into this hopper here. So crouch and right click and you should see that the mouth is uh, looking, is touching this hopper here. Then on top of this dropper place one hopper. Now just to clarify, this one here is a dispenser so make sure you're not placing a dropper there otherwise the function of filling up the bucket won't work. Now in front of this dispenser here, we're going to get our, one of our blocks of choice. We're going to place a block in front of it. Then on top of that block, we're going to have a comparator leading out of this hopper here. We're then going to place a block down on the ground here with a redstone repeater facing towards the left. Above that repeater, place a block. And then to the left and the right of that repeater, place a block. On this right block though, we're going to get a a redstone, a piece of redstone dust. We're then going to place a block down here and then diagonally up we're going to get our note block. Place that right there and lead a redstone repeater going into that. On the other side here, what we need to do is come down to the bottom underneath this block here, get out our redstone. We're going to place one redstone here. We're going to have a repeater after this and then lead that into another piece of redstone dust. Now make sure you right click this repeater once. Now we need to get a redstone torch underneath this hopper here. Now I should have done this before but what we need to do simply just to uh, do that is break this comparator, break this block. We're going to break the block underneath here and then the one finally under this hopper here. On the side that this redstone dust is on or on top of this block here place a redstone torch, we can then go ahead, replace that block and then again place the redstone comparator back there. We then need to copy this design here again one more time, so over here, so redstone, repeater, but this time make sure you flick it two times, so one, two, redstone after this. Now we need to come around to the back here where we need to build an item elevator, so we need to get the item from this bottom one into that chest at the top here. So how we actually do that is from this bottom dropper here, we're gonna have a comparator coming out of it. We're gonna lead that into a block, which on the left side of it, we're going to have a torch, a block above that. We're gonna place a block in front of the torch here, redstone, we're gonna have a torch here, and then on top of that torch, place a block. And then all we simply have to do is repeat that again, so place a block above this comparator. And this is where we start it, so comparator, lead that into a block. On the left side here, redstone torch, block above, and then block in front of it. Redstone on top of this block, torch on the front face, and then a block on top of that. And now this is where a little bit of the magic comes in and this is how it automatically fills it up. So what we need to do is on this side here, we're going to place three blocks like this. So one, two, three. We're going to place redstone to the right of this block and then leading towards the front, we're going to get redstone repeaters. Place two like that. To the right of this dropper, we're going to place a block of our choice. So again, make sure you crouch right click. And while we're down here, we'll fill, fill up the water. So what we need to do is place a block over to this side in between the note block and that block just down in that hole there. Then the same here. Now we're gonna make sure it doesn't destroy any of the redstone. So we need to build kind of a bit of a um, uh, reservoir around this or a little border. We can destroy this temporarily. And what we need to do is place water on the other side here. So pretty much create an infinite water source in this little three by one section. So water source over on that block over the other side and then one here and then we should be all good to go. Replace that block. Then what we need to do is create the back plate here for it so we can actually place our button down and then actually trigger the contraption so it will actually fill up all the buckets. So. On this right side here, build basically a 3x2 wall behind the chest like that. On this right block here, we're going to place our button. Now, I probably use a different material because we both got wood here and wood there. Uh, but behind the block that the button is on, place a sticky piston facing downwards. And then under that piston, we're going to place our block of redstone. 
And to my knowledge, this is the build complete. So what we're gonna do now is test this out just to see if it actually works. So let's grab out some buckets here. Let's chuck them into here. And if we go ahead and we press this button, we should start seeing water buckets filling up in this chest here. And have a look at that. It looks like it is working first shot, so I'm very happy about that. And then we can go ahead and cover this up. Now you don't have to worry about cutting off any redstone here. You can simply just pretty much cover up this top layer so you can't see the hole anymore and you should be good to go. I should note, don't place any block under that redstone block there, otherwise it won't trigger the machine. But that is the build complete. What I'm gonna do now is explain to you guys how this actually works. Now how this actually works is quite simple. So we'll start up here where we actually throw the buckets in. So when we throw the buckets in, they'll get placed into this hopper which will take it down into this dropper below. Now they'll, they'll stay in there until the player actually presses this, presses this button here. So when we press this button, it will power this piston which extends this redstone block down, powering that redstone there. These redstone repeaters pick that signal up, power this block here, and that block is right next to that dropper there. So it's going to power that and shoot one of these buckets into this hopper in front of it. It's going to take that bucket down into the dispenser below. That comparator there is going to detect when that item was in that hopper there and send the signal out. It's then going to go into this redstone here, into that repeater, powering this note block and because the bucket is in that dispenser now, powering this note block will power the dispenser as well so that's going to pick up a water source here. Now under this block here we actually have a redstone repeater so it's going to pick up this redstone signal from here send it through this way. Now we are delaying this a little bit here, but essentially what happens is there is a hopper below the dispenser here. Now the item will actually only go into this bottom hopper here if that torch is off. So this torch will turn off for two, I think two or four ticks to let that item from the dispenser actually pick the water up. And then after it's picked the water up, it will let it through. The item is then going to go through those hoppers into this bottom dropper. Now this here is the item elevator, so it detects if there's an item in this bottom dropper. If there is, send a signal out, unpowering this torch here. Now what we have here is a quick pulser using a torch, a block above it, and then a piece of redstone dust on the block that the torch is on, and that just quickly spams um, a redstone signal to these um, to this dropper and the one above it. So that's going to shoot the item from this one into the one above it and then the one above it's going to shoot it into this next one and that whole process re repeats again so it shoots it up and then shoots it finally into the chest at the top here. But also over this side here when the signal is detected from this dropper here it's going to power this redstone and repeat that same process of a, a process again by sending out a bucket from here into the next one um, that will only happen if there is a bucket inside of that, otherwise um, it will just simply stop and then to start it up again you would have to press that button again. But hopefully that explains how it all works. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed, if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and snap that like button, then go ahead and check out one of these videos, this one on the left here is another redstone tutorial, then the one on the right is a video personalised for you. But I will see you guys later. Bye! Is dig four blocks down. <laughs>
Got to get those screenshots.